Very good afternoon. You're watching Lunchtime News here on TV1. My name is David Paldano and before we head into our stories, let's first take a look at your headlines. Cabinet grants approval to purchase 100 megawatts power. Prime Minister appoints a committee to resolve the crisis. Change in fuel prices. Decision of the pricing committee expected this evening. Decision on the future coalition between SLFP and SLPP gets underway. Many provinces to expect heavy rainfall this afternoon. Dalai Lama taken to hospital in India. Lotus Road in Colombo has been temporarily closed due to protest in the area. The demonstration has been staged by a group of freelance employees of the Department of Railways. In more local news, Cabinet has granted approval to purchase 100 megawatts of electricity to obtain uninterrupted supply of power. This will continue for a period of six months. Cabinet has approved the purchase of this power from three companies belonging to the United Kingdom, United Arab Emirates and Hong Kong based on the recommendations of the Standing Procurement Committee. Each unit will be purchased at a price of between 28 rupees and 31 rupees. Meanwhile, a ministerial committee headed by the Prime Minister has been appointed to propose short-term, medium and long-term measures to address the electricity crisis. The committee consists of Ministers Mangala Samravira, Ravi Karunanayaka, Kabir Hashim and Minister Sagar Ratnayaka. Meanwhile, Cabinet approval has been granted to cancel the Act No. 43 of the Underperforming Enterprise or Underutilized Assets Revolving Act. The government states that this act was cancelled due to the uncertainty it creates in the minds of investors and the adverse effects to the business environment. The proposal was submitted by the Minister of Public Enterprise, Candy and Heritage and Candy Development, Lakshman Kiriala. In more local news, the committee appointed to review the fuel price will convene at the Ministry of Finance this afternoon to determine the monthly fuel price according to the price formula. Price of crude oil in the international market has increased by 8 US dollars in the past month. A barrel of crude oil was at 57 US dollars in the international market as of on the 10th of last month. Today the price stands at 65 US dollars. According to the sources at the finance ministry, although international oil prices have increased, the pricing formula will be amended in such a way the local consumers will experience a minimum level of an effect due to the appreciation of the rupee against the US dollar. Although all Ceylon Private Bus Workers Association said it would begin a strike from midnight yesterday, a correspondent reported that private bus services were in operation as usual today. The association was to launch a strike action against the revised fines introduced by the government. Officials said buses were in operation in line with the timetable of the Bastion Marvatha Bus Depot. Lanka Private Bus Owners Association and All Island Private Bus Owners Association have not supported the strike action that was to be launched. Meanwhile, News First inquired into the bus services in several areas today. Our correspondent said the buses in the Kurunagal bus stand were in operation during the morning hours. However, he added that there was a shortage in the passengers. Bus services in Anuradhapura were also in operation without any hindrance today. Our correspondents said buses travelling through Nugegoda are also in operation. Private buses deployed in the Gaul and Matara main bus depots were also seen operating today. UK Kumar Ratna of the All Ceylon Private Bus Workers Association spoke to News First about the strike action that was to be launched. We have obtained an evaluation report from our representatives who are deployed in all nine provinces. There were only two buses in the Kalutura bus stand. Many bus owners have assigned others to operate the buses. If the workers cannot support the strike action, maybe I have gotten this wrong. I have gotten this wrong, so it is okay to make it 50,000 rupees. A meeting of the Sri Lanka Putujana Perumana was held in Gaul today, yesterday. The UNP is desperately looking for candidates. Or oh, they will at one point say Karu is the president and Ranil is the prime minister. 
The people should always keep in mind that whoever comes forward as the presidential candidate, if they win, the government will still be controlled by the political failure that is Ranil Vikramasinghe. We will present a strong winning horse to the race. This horse will definitely win and become the president. You already know who that candidate is. With the blessings of Mahindra Rajapaksa, Gotabe Rajapaksa has already left to remove his dual citizenship in order to enter the battle. The present government is shivering with fear because of this. Following other views expressed by UPFA MP SM Chandrasena at a media briefing held in Anuradhapura yesterday. We have been taking various decisions about Gotabe Rajapaksa as the UPFA. Let's say that he will not contest, but we will forever aid the fight of the people. There are many other Rajapaksas. Hindrance caused to Gotabe Rajapaksa has resulted in a shortage of the UNP votes. The government should work for the people and earn their votes. But pulling the leg of your opponent is a disgraceful thing to do. State Minister of Mahaveli Development and Environment Ajit Mahana Peruma engaged in decisions, sorry, held in discussions with the officials in charge of the power plant built under the Umwad Oya project at Kaluta, at Karudagola today. The State Minister also participated in an inspection tour following discussions. Built under the Uma Oya multipurpose proposed method, this power plant extends up to 700 meters below the surface of the earth. At present, we are facing a power crisis because there is an issue in providing the required amount of electricity to the national grid. Day by day, this issue is worsening. Under this project, two power plants will be built, one with the capability of providing 15 megawatts and this one which has the capability of providing 120 megawatts. When observed, this is something amazing. We are spending around 86 billion for this. At present, electricity is purchased at 28 to 30 rupees per kilowatt. With this, we have the capability of producing a kilowatt at 3 rupees and 50 cents to 4 rupees. Another meeting between Sri Lanka Freedom Party and the Sri Lanka Pudujana Perumuna got underway today to discuss about forming a new alliance. The meeting was held at the office of the opposition leader. General Secretary of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party MP Dayasiri Jayasekara and several others attended the meeting. Representing the Sri Lanka Pudujana Perumuna was chairman of the party GLP Riz and other MPs. Representing the SLFP, Professor Rohana Lakshman Piyadasas said the meeting was called to reach a final agreement about the initially established fundamental principles when forming the new alliance. In a weather update, Department of Meteorology says showers or thunder showers will occur in several places in Trental, Sabragamur, Southern, Uva, Northwestern, North Central, Western and Eastern provinces after 2 p.m. today. Fairly heavy falls, about 75 mm, can be expected at some places in Sabragamu, Central, Uva and Southern provinces and severe lightning activities are also possible in those provinces. The department added that misty conditions can be expected at some places in Western, Sabragamu and Central provinces during the morning hours. Well, that's a wrap of lunchtime news here on TV1. For more information, log on to our website www.newsfirst.lk. For the News First team, I'm David Faldano. Take care.